you have to like the person that you're with. I would say more than love. Really? I think I would rather be liked. Over love? Over love. Over love. What do you think? I think I think you should, well it's crazy that you say like and you only saying like because people then use love as something like just something to say to mm-hmm. you know uh but when you can't it's like impossible for you to well you you do got a point you know what I'm saying cuz mm-hmm. cuz you can still love somebody <clears throat> And, and like, not like them exactly like I've been in that where I felt loved and then I felt that love transition to where you do not like me as a person you don't like nothing about me you can't stand me and you want me <clears throat> to go this way mm-hmm. so you can go do that like Women typically, old men, anyone that's kind of just been like done wrong and cheated on, you kind of feel it. You, it's like a shift that happens where like the person is like a hundred, a hundred percent about you, and then it just slowly started like change. Oh, geez. Yeah. And then their feelings toward you change. You become annoying to them. Like it's really a lot of signs that you can look for. Like when you. It's kind of like the love starts to just, it fades. So that's why I feel like I'd rather be liked. Like when you like somebody, like you can't wait to just be around them. Be around them. Like you make considerations for them. Like when you love somebody, sometimes you can do stuff just out of obligation. Not because you want to. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good feeling either for the receiving person to know. You're just doing that because... Mm-hmm. But not because you actually want to. Yeah, but and now that I think about it, it seems like it can be. Maybe I want to be like, in certain things, and love in another way too, mm-hmm. because like, you can say I like this person, so I'm not going to tell them some shit that they need to hear mm-hmm. that might hurt their feelings. Mm-hmm. It take a motherfucker that love you. To say, hey, this gonna hurt their feelings, but this is good for them. Mm-hmm. You know, a person that like you might say, I don't, I don't think I'm a. I, this is gonna hurt their feelings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it's kind of like you need both. But I I get what you're saying, but in another on the on the on the other side of that pillow. Hey, I need, I need that I need that tough love. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. or I don't know. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't even think of that part. Yeah, that's we're crazy. gonna do a poll. Would you rather be loved or liked? Mm-hmm. And this is by your the partner, your intimate partner, loved or liked. So how do you? How can you determine if your partner? like you or not have I ever made you feel like I didn't like you Mm-mm. has there ever been a time that you didn't like me <laughs> no and besides that one argument we got into no. We got it more than one argument. I only recall that one. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. What about that time? <laughs> what about that time I woke up in your bed and you wasn't there? <laughs> I got up <laughs> looking for you. You was in the <laughs> living room on the couch. And I said, and I called you. Mm-hmm. Same time. I was like, dang, she sleep. I was asleep. Wake up the next morning. You tell my son. 
I heard y'all were just ignoring me. Because I was mad. I do not remember why I was mad, but something must have been wrong for no, me to don't. sleep on the couch. So, and you said all the things that, or different type of uh, ways you can tell if your partner doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. How can you determine if your partner really loves you? Can it be, is that is that tougher to decipher whether it's it real love or not? Is it tougher than knowing if somebody like you or not versus if they love really love you or not? I don't know if that even makes sense, but yeah. <laughs> I guess Are you saying is it tough to decipher if someone loves you? If if they really if so like uh do they really I uh, if are you doing this because you love me or are you doing this to is it fake love like to just keep you around? Mm. Like I think I that wanna... is hard to because it happens every day. Like people really get with people and they have no intentions on being faithful to them or sincere. It is hard out here. Not that I'm in the streets, but I mean, <laughs> like it's before I met you, like it was, it was hard. But then I would say when I met you, it wasn't hard because you just kind of like did all the things. And I was like, damn, that's what I was missing or that's what it was supposed to be mm. all of this time. So I feel like it was easier. I think once you have it it's easy to figure it out. But if you never had it, you're going to probably keep getting the same things and you'll never be able to figure it out. Because you, if you have a real Gucci bag and then you get a fake one, I think you start, you feel a leather a little bit. You kind of feel, mm -hmm. you know, have a, a different feeling. So I think you have to have had it and experienced it to know it when you see it. Yeah. Have you ever learned something from your... Uh, past relationship that you changed that benefits you in your new relationship? <laughs> I will say that I learned to take accountability. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever really had to before um, because typically like if you're always doing stuff wrong to me, it kind of makes me always the victim. So I never really get a chance to look at myself to see the things that I'm doing wrong. Because you can't come to me about nothing I'm doing because you the F up in this relationship, not me. So it kind of wasn't until, you know, we got together that I was able to kind of look at myself and be like oh no you do have a lot of stuff that you still need to work on um because i just always felt like you were i don't want to say better than me but you were just more something like you really took accountability for everything that you did and it just made me feel like damn i ain't doing enough um but it was because I was always like, you, you, you did that. And I never like really took a step back to be like, no, you kind of did some shit too. Like <laughs> you need to take accountability for that and um, kind of get out of that. I'm a victim. So yeah, I think that's what I learned to take accountability and not always point the finger at other people. Yeah, that's, cra that's crazy you say that because I feel like um, you help me like say <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself stop oh yeah you hold yourself accountable but you don't have to overdo it like mm -hmm. sometimes you you put in that position to to react that way mm -hmm. or you know uh your feelings was hurt, you know, mm -hmm. or some, whatever it was, something might have did that. And when you, one time you told me that, 
I don't want to say what it was, but mm-hmm. one time you told me that, and it was like these lights in this motherfucker. It's just like, whoa. So that means the other time and the other time. I was so hard on myself, like, for, I still be beating myself up for stuff I've done prior to to me, to this relationship, to where I, I look, I still be shaming myself, like, mm-hmm. it's, it, it be tough. But I also read something that says, when you start laughing at your past mistakes and your and your and your and your laugh like your old you, mm-hmm. that's when the healing is starting to come. Mm-hmm. So I guess I take it and look at it as that I'm I'm healing, mm-hmm. and now I want to continue to be. I don't want to get back to where I was. Mm. So thank you for that. Anytime. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but just, and the same thank you for just like really making me be accountable. Like I'm still a brat. I don't think that's gonna change. I, I don't think you had that problem though. I don't think you, you don't had think a problem so? that you know. I don't think you had a problem with like uh did this better or or I should have said this better I I, I think it it don't matter how long it take you to get it Mm -hmm. (laughs) as long as you get it so that that doesn't count like if it take a while for you to get it that doesn't count as you wasn't holding yourself accountable it's just as long as you get it Mm. I think I don't know I'm just glad that whatever it was that was causing you to, to be hard on yourself I'm glad that you you figured it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely give myself a lot of grace. Um, you, you done a lot of brave shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You rubbed off on me. So now you're brave because of me? Mm. I mean, I ain't gonna take all the credit. I'm not a coward because of you. Really? Yeah. You're not a coward because of me. See you again. So. You didn't allow me to say. Hey, I'm scared. I don't. You did allow me to, but you also gave me a, like, hey, all right, <laughs> you get the ultimatum to, hey, if you, if you scared, take your scared ass <laughs> home. Don't stay here with the scared business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get your punk ass. <laughs> Bruh, did get I your, do that? Get your punk ass. I'm just, this is how I'm, I'm mm-hmm. this is mm-hmm. how I took it. <laughs> like. Get your punk ass on out of here. Like, mm-hmm. don't, don't, don't bring the scared business over here. Mm. Uh, but it also it made me look at fear a different way. Like, I think fear t- to me, what fear is, go <laughs> straight mm-hmm. to it. Like, whatever it is, it's it's it mainly don't know nothing good ever tells you to stop. Don't go on for something that you want. You know, so. When it comes to something that's gonna benefit you and you scared, that's that's not that's not that's not the sign to say don't do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 actually the opposite. Go. Mm-hmm. And once I got that in my head, I, I I I just put that in my everyday life now. Mm-hmm. Like I remember like like everything. It, it's everything that that goes on in my life now that I. If I feel like I'm uh, a little nervous of doing something, like, oh, I'm about to kill it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit mm-hmm. about to be like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, thank you for that. I be learning a lot from you. Really. I learned a lot from you. Mm-hmm. I did not plan this shit. <laughs> and it's just, and it's, but it's operating like I planned for this shit. Yeah, for sure.
Yeah, it is kind of like it's a smooth, ride. a smooth ride. I feel like you ever had a smooth, a smooth ride, but it still was like bumpy, but the bumps was also smooth. <laughs> like I don't know. Hey, yeah, they, they're just kind of like <laughs> yeah, like going up a speed bump at the right uh, speed. speed. Where you just feel like <laughs> motherfucker just yeah, cause it definitely has not been without bumps, but they just haven't been like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we riding the hoops, <laughs> right, right, right. So that's the part I don't want people to get the impression that it's just smooth sailing and you, but, but it you, is smooth sailing you know what i think it is what? it's i i believe you have to you have to already come suited and booted you have mm. to you can't come mm. all fucked up mm. then then expect a smooth ride damn you, know you better say that shit like say that one more time Hey, oh, you gotta, you gotta be come suited and booty. You gotta come happy. You gotta come uh, secure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to uh, throw that motherfucking ego out of here. That mm-hmm. there's no place for that. This mm-hmm. is not the place for an ego. You know, mm-hmm. if you want a smooth ride. Wow. Yeah. That's a dang. That's so true. And you said something that was so profound the other day about like having kids is not for like did you say the weak or for the selfish 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 shit selfish yeah yeah it's not you have to you can it's everyday sacrifice Mm -hmm. it's no longer about just you Mm -hmm. because of course you have to take care of you to be able to take care of them but it's Mm -hmm. not you have to it's a package deal now yeah it's gonna be times where you just it's gonna be tough, but you can't be you can't use it's not it's not a well you have to figure this shit out. Mm-hmm. It ain't no well, well, well. <laughs> can't do that shit. Mm-hmm. And and what's crazy, I'm the the king of oh well. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I look it's just change, I don't know. Came suited and booted and secured. <laughs> <laughs> Healed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dope. But do you think you came in the door that way, or do you think you kind of yeah became yeah I, I came and maybe you came with the suit on, but you put your tie on, your cufflinks. <laughs> Your shoes, your socks, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I I think it got better over time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. and and that's the key. Mm-hmm. Like I think you, I don't, I forgot what you call it, but you take care of the 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 small things to build confidence to go to the next level. Knock that one out. Not Just yeah, kind of like yeah. And you just, if you do that with your life, when the when the time comes, when it's like something uh, real heavy, mm-hmm. you'll, be, you'll have at least a, some confidence. I mean, that's more, most people you have for the battle. Knowing that you can do it, having faith. Mm. And then if, once you got that, mm-hmm. you'll be, you'll start doing the leg where like, oh, I can do this, but I have to do this to, to complete it. So mm-hmm. you'll start working your ass off to make sure you complete it. Yeah. You used to win it. <laughs> yeah. I definitely put that faith in you. Like when your mom was like transitioning, I, I was so worried about you. Like I thought you were about to mm. like go like dark. And I remember you were sitting outside and I asked you, like, how are you, like, even functioning? And you were just like, is just God just keeping me 
and guiding me and I'm just following. And like you just you really stayed you really kept your head above water when like that was really supposed to take you out. Like you were supposed to you were supposed to drown with that one. And you really, really fought to stay above water and try to keep your siblings up as well. So that was tough. That was tough to watch. And it's tough to even think about. Mm -hmm. It was so hard. Mm, Really mess up. You said, man, I couldn't have done that without God. Because God gave you something to be like that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely did. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching, vibing with us. Don't cry with us. Yeah. Subscribe. We almost at 20K. Thanks to the 20K. So we just okay. <laughs> <laughs>